Is this credit union better than Navy Federal? Let's see, uh... Navy Federal is in fact one of the largest credit unions in the United States, but it's time that we also talk about smaller credit unions because let's be honest, a lot of people just can't get into Navy Federal. So on today's episode, we're gonna talk about Apple Federal Credit Union and they do in fact give out credit limits all the way up to $50,000. So they're really putting Navy Federal on the spot as being the house of high limits and this credit union is nowhere near as big as Navy Federal and anyone can join. And I'll be honest with you, Navy Federal is great for the personal side, but I'm not a huge fan of their business side. It just doesn't make sense to me why they would give anybody with a higher tier credit score and an actual nice amount of money in their bank account a $500 line of credit. They've been doing that a lot lately. Now in the past, they were giving out crazy amounts of money to business owners that actually have personal accounts also, but as of recently, they've been kind of scaling that back and I think it's a sign of the economy, of course. But with Apple Federal Credit Union, they do offer a business side also. So you wanna stick around to the end because I'm gonna cover that at the end of this video. We really need to stop banking with traditional banks because at the end of the day, these big banks like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Truist Bank, they don't care about you. If you put a bunch of money in their bank account and you have a bad credit score, guess what? They're not gonna lend you a dime. There are going to be four very important steps to this video that you do not want to miss. Step one, how to join Apple Federal Credit Union, the pretty obvious one. Step number two, how to establish a relationship to optimize to get the best products possible. Step three, what products they actually offer to their members. And step four, does your business qualify for a business account and what they can offer for your business? Before we get into the juicy sauce, I want you to take a look at the very front page of Apple Federal Credit Union's website. It's pretty wild because right out the gate they come out swinging and they're offering you a 5.30% APY on your savings account. That is super high for an average credit union. I mean, they're smoking on some of the biggest credit unions out there. And let's be honest, Navy Federal, you gotta step up your game with stuff like this. But they offer all the other things that a lot of other banks off also offer. High interest balance transfers as low as 0% APR, checking accounts, auto loans you can refer your friends and family and of course our favorite personal loans those are the secret debt killers ladies and gentlemen that people don't pay attention to until it's too late and they need it now the 5.30 APY is for new money and that is for a five month term which is pretty solid for five months now for new or existing money you're gonna be looking at 5.00 APY for nine months then 4.75 APY for 18 months and then 4.6 zero APY for 35 months. Those are all really solid if you're looking for someone somewhere to gain some more extra cushion with your money. Now there are four different ways that you can join Apple Federal Credit Union. A lot of people are like, oh no, I'm not in Virginia. I'm not in the actual school system. Well, this actually used to be an actual federal credit union for just their school system, but it changed and they have expanded. So let's go over that list. Number one is your location, of course. If you're in Northern Virginia or in Virginia, that's gonna automatically get you in. Well, not quite. You actually have to actually work in that specific county or city, and then you actually can worship in a specific area. You can volunteer or attend school in those counties or in those cities. Now, number two is if you are a faculty, staff, student, or immediate family of either one of these alumni or actual schools or universities or public schools, it's a massive list. I'm not gonna go over the whole list. <laughs> Number three is through your relationship. If you have a family member, that's an immediate family member that is already an existing member that can get you in. You can look at the list right there. Also, your household. So if you're living with a member such as a roommate, domestic partner, or legal guardians, that can also get you in. Now this is a good one that can apply to a lot more people. Your associations. Joining an eligible association such as Friends of the WOD Trail. Now you do just make a contribution. I think it's like $10. Or if you're a member of the Northern Virginia Athletic Directors Coaches Association. Of course, you can also pay to join that association. And finally, number four, you can review the list that they actually offer of the businesses and organizations that to determine if you can actually have membership eligibility. So just go over the list, double check it, make sure that maybe your company might be a part of it. Maybe they're not, but it's there. That's number four. 
Last part is the most important. Now let's move on to step number three, what products they actually offer to their members. Now, of course, they have all the checking accounts, the savings accounts, they have a bunch of credit cards. We'll come right back to that. They offer all types of loans, auto loans, motorcycle loans, mortgages, home equity, personal loans, student loans, loan protection, and skip a pay. Now we're gonna come back to the personal loans because that's very important that you hear about that. They also offer different types of savings accounts, all, all from a crazy range. There's a huge list right there, as you can see. Now let's go over to step number two how to establish a relationship this is very simple don't over complicate things all you have to do is open up an actual checking account don't do the paid one just do the simple free checking account now you want to do your savings account you want to put as much money as you possibly can into your savings account and keep it there and do not touch it leave it there this is gonna make you an asset to the bank the more money you got in there and you're not touching the bigger of an asset you become to the actual credit union not bank credit union. Now you want to make sure that you actually do an actual direct deposit. They need to see the data points and see that money coming into your checking account. This is super important. Now, if you can't do this, of course, some, some employers don't offer direct deposit, then you can do just a paper check. Just make sure you deposit it. You can do all the online banking and deposit that way also. Now you want to do a secured loan or savings certificate. Remember, the more money you're putting into the bank account and you're contributing to to the bank account guess what you're becoming a bigger asset you're making your relationship stronger so do a secured loan if if it's possible for you if not work on a savings certificate or do both the more you do the better your relationship's going to be and you're going to get anything that you truly want please make sure that you establish your relationship for at least a minimum of 91 days if you do not have a great credit score their entry level credit score for their credit products is a five 580 FICO score. Now they have pulled from Equifax and they have also pulled from TransUnion. So just be aware, there's no solid data to prove that they're only gonna pull from one, but we know that they have pulled from both of those. Now, if you really wanna optimize your account properly, you wanna wait at least six to eight months after you've established all the data points, and then that will actually help you get a higher limit and have a higher chance of getting approved. Now remember, all of the credit cards that we're gonna talk about, they are going to have an actual pre-qualify button so you can see if you pre-qualify for any of them before you get a hard inquiry now they do offer a signature personal loan that goes all the way up to fifty thousand dollars and the annual apr is going to be 9.99 percent pretty high but of course interest rates are still high right now unfortunately there's nothing we can do about that now also they do offer a signature line of credit up to fifty thousand dollars also now that one goes all the way up to 12.74 or APR pretty high also but I mean what can we do right now they also have a pre qualify button at the very bottom of each one of these so you can pre qualify me with no score impact to see if you qualify for anything that they actually offer so let's get into these credit cards I'm not gonna break down every single quality feature of these I'm just gonna tell you exactly where they start and where they can go to so the signature reward card that can go all the way up to fifty thousand dollars that's kind of like their flagship card I guess you could say then they have the my reward card that card can go all the way up to five thousand dollars now they have a platinum card now the platinum card looks like that's their second flagship card because it goes all the way up to thirty five thousand dollars now they have an educator card that also goes all the way up to thirty five thousand dollars now that one is gonna be a special one because that one's going to try to get you the lowest introductory APR possible so just remember that now also they have a student card that can go all the way up to fifteen hundred dollars for people of eight to 25 years old and they also offer a credit builder that you can put up to five thousand dollars of your own money into that actual credit builder credit card it's a great selection and it is in fact credit rebuilding friendly that's the best part about apple federal credit union and there you have it that is apple federal credit union i hope you enjoyed this video because i believe that apple federal credit union is one of the most underrated credit unions out there and more people need to learn about it because anyone can join at the end of the day and maybe you can actually use the business sector also now make sure that you watch the next video because it is about another credit union that people do not talk about and if you felt that i brought you some value in this video make sure that you don't forget and subscribe to increase your credit score